as you do this prayer, believe that God will answer you. Believe and trust God in the process. And as you do this prayer, according to Mark 11:24, whatever we pray for, whatever we ask for, and believe that we have already gotten solution. We have gotten it already. So if you believe that as you make this prayer, God has answered you, you will receive a divine intervention or you have already gotten divine intervention. So believe and make this prayer for financial breakthrough, for abundance, for prosperities, and to make things to start working for you. Sorry. If you want things to start working for you, please do this prayer with someone very powerful for abundance for money for riches for turn around and to make things to start working for you someone is a sum for abundance for riches and prosperities i am using good news bible so anyone you have you can use it but before I proceed on this video, I want to say that you are welcome to this channel. As you stop to watch this video, may God bless you, favor you, and make you to prosper in things you do. This channel is for success, prayers, physical and spiritual well-being tips that will help you to achieve success. So if today is your first time to see this channel, join us by subscribing, turn on the bell, to always get notification each time I upload a good content like this. Now, if you need abundance, pray to get abundance with the book of Psalms. That is why I came up with Psalm 1. If you believe and pray with Psalm 1, you will experience positive changes in your life. You will see things working for you. This one is assurance, but you need faith and trust the Lord in the process and make things to start working for you. Please do not doubt the power of the Holy Spirit in your life. Do not doubt the power of prayers. Do not doubt the book of Psalms. If you believe, you will achieve. Now, you may be doing business and your business is not growing. You may be working, no promotion. You may be looking for something good, but there is no result. You need God, and by the grace of God in your life, things will start working for you. Now, how do you get that grace? It is through prayers. That is why you need someone for positive changes in your life. Now, let's go to that someone and how to use it. True happiness. Psalm 1 is all about true happiness. You know that happiness attracts favor. It attracts good living, good health, and riches in someone's life. Now, 1 says, Happy are those who reject the advice of evil men. If you reject the advice of evil men, you will become prosperous. You will achieve your goal. But if you accept the advice of evil men, that person will go to the road of destruction and end in disaster. So, happy are those who reject the advice of evil men, who do not follow the example of sinners, or join those who have no use for God. Two, instead, they find joy in obeying the law of the Lord and they study it day and night. They study it day and night. Now, three says this three is the most important place to attract favor in your life. Happy are those who reject evil. So, reject evil. Never follow evil men so that things will be working for you. Go to the path of righteous. 
anything you do, you will see success. Now, verse 3 says, which is very important, there are like trees, that is, once you depart from the evil people and go to the right path of success, the direction of God. Now, there are like trees that grow beside a stream that bear fruits at the right time and those who sorry and those whose leaves do not dry up they succeed in everything they do oh lord come into my life and make me to be successful for but evil men are not like this at all that is evil men will never prosper in everything they do they are like straw that the wind blows away five sinners will be condemned by god and keep apart from god's own people six the righteous are guided and protected by the lord so be righteous to be protected by god almighty now but the evil are on the way to their doom to their destruction to their handicaps and to their frustration. So, after reading this psalm, now the prayers you need is to say, Oh Lord, I came to you for abundance. Give me abundant life. Oh Lord, I came to you for favor. Give me favor. Oh Lord, I came to you for riches. Give me riches. Oh Lord, I came to you for favor, riches, wealth, and abundance. Oh Lord, make me to achieve all this through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Oh Lord, make me a blessed son. Make me to prosper. Give me victory. Give me success. Give me prosperities through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Oh Lord. Any works of the enemy against me, let it be destroyed. Any plans of the enemy, let it be destroyed. Any evil arrow, let it be destroyed. Any power of the evil ones, let it be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. O oh Lord, I come to you for protection. I come to you for favor. I come to you for good things in life. O oh Lord, favor me. Bless me in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh Lord, favor me according to your loving kindness, according to your mercy. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me and make me to prosper in things that I do in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh Lord, as I say this prayer, so shall it be. Nothing will change it. Nothing will revoke it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, this is a prayer you need to make. You can add other prayers for yourself. You know what you want. You know how to make your own prayer. And make prayer consistently. Make prayer your habits. And always pray. Within a short period of time, success will start coming to you effortlessly. So pray and believe this prayer for abundance, success, wealth, riches, and prosperities. And as you do this, please, have faith and refrain from evil or sin. You will have a testimony. So thank you for watching. If you have questions and comments, do not hesitate to drop it in the comment section. In fact, comment on this video. Let me know what you think. Like and share this video to all your friends and families. I wish you good luck and success. See you in my next video. Bye.